everybody, I'm Dr. Karen Mikowski, aka Butterfly Karen. Welcome. I'm the real Karen, not the meme Karen. I'm not your entitled Karen. I'm your silent co consumer Karen. So welcome to um, Independent Consumer Assessment Report ICA04. Mm -hmm. This is where I just uh, discuss my review, but through um, conducting independent consumer assessments on everywhere I stay and all that beautiful stuff. So now... <laughs> This was, I stayed at the Travel Lodge in Palm Springs, California. The address is 1269 East Palm Canyon Drive, 92264 zip code. But I'll, again, I'll put the address into the contents box and the link to the hotel too, the motel, the, lodge, the travel lodge. This travel lodge is obviously by Wyndham, so there's a brand there. Now, I'm just gonna stick with the business because I do have another video. It's part of the, I was on, this was, this was a business trip and I was performing an investigation. So, but not at the hotel. This was completely random. My experience was random. Nothing to do with the hotel. But if you want to watch that video, you can just sort of watch my, I believe it's my, um, California series. Um, I'll even put the link in so you can just sort of, ex, um, understand the experience too. It was interesting, but nothing to do with business. Now, Okay, check-in service, very friendly. The The guy I was checking in with, he was really, really polite, very friendly. I mean, that's what I expect. I would have expected. And that he gave me the service I would have given. Very professional and efficient. I had a few requests and they were, were met without any, like, <laughs> any of that. <laughs> they were friendly. They were just literally met absolutely, like, Absolutely, we can do that. Just a few, it's not much, um, not nothing big, nothing of entitlement or anything like that. Just uh, the motel was really clean. My only disappointment was um, how noisy it was. But then again, the location, it was a busy area. So you're talking about inter intersections and where there's a lot of traffic, there's gonna be a lot of noise, but there's gonna be human traffic too. Um, and the, the only, and, but the only disappointment, because it was so busy, I mean, like, it was so noisy outside, it was just the people that were hanging around outside my room, my motel room, it was just a bit like, mm, I'm not going to, I'm not feeling, because I don't know who these people are. <laughs> so I just don't like, I'm always going to be a bit alert when I've got people right outside my bloody motel window and door, like, really noisy and it's like, Get away from a car, that sort of thing. <laughs> or don't even start knocking on my door. It, it's, it's just something I, I don't like, but you know. So I just, I, it just took me a while to sort of relax, put it that way. Um, and it did, it, unfortunately. It sort of made it a little bit hard for me to sleep, but that wasn't the only, you know, the only reason. It wasn't a security problem. It was just, I just didn't feel like I could relax, that was all. But that's not the hotel's problem or the hotel's fault or anything like that. It's just, that's just a, an extension, a people problem uh, with no respect for others, that's all. So, but it wasn't where it wasn't enough to complain about or anything like that. Um, cause that's everywhere you go. Um, yes, yeah, so when it comes to, it's not, yeah, because again, like, let's just go to the, I rated seven out of ten because one, it was an, it was a, it was like sort of like last minute. I wasn't expecting. I mean, I do have amenities and things, but I wasn't. It wasn't like anything fantastic or anything like that. You are getting what you pay for, and it was a good. It was a good rate actually, um, if I remember correctly. It was well under a hundred bucks, so it was worth the money. If you can just, if you can just deal with like rude people who are staying in the hotel too, or don't have any respect for anybody else's like, you know, um, worth it. But if there's just the basic things you need when you're staying in a motel or a travel lodge, that's what you're going to get. So, um, but again, when it, so the only thing that sort of disappointed me a little bit was just the, the noise, like the, like not being able to get proper night's sleep and stuff like that. And it just keeps me on edge a little bit. Um, 
that it wasn't a major security problem for me, but it could have been a security issue. So I just kind of give it a media, uh, media, uh, a mediocre look on my little chart for it, it wasn't a, it, like because I felt like I had to be slightly alert, not hyper alert like some place else did, but alert enough to be like, is this going to be a security? Is it going to be a safety problem or a security issue? They're going to start banging on my door. They're going to have the drunk. You know what I mean? So that's the only reason I just. That can be, again, um, that can just be addressed. The hotel can implement some sort of steps to monitor that or have maybe security. Um, but you're not going to stop rude people. Again, it's not, it wasn't really, if it had been a major security problem, it would have been the hotel's fault. But it wasn't really, it wasn't, it sh again, and I'm speaking from a, a solo female traveler, not just like a group of, like, you could have gone with like two or three friends and you wouldn't have even cared. You'd probably gone outside and be like, hey, do you want to hang out? <laughs> or that kind of stuff. Or it wouldn't have bothered you. Or it maybe have bothered you if you, had a, if you were staying there and you had children trying to get to sleep. That would have been a problem. And then you would have complained to the hotel. But there's not really much a hotel can do anyway, apart from like kick them out and stuff like that. And it didn't feel that. wasn't that bad. <laughs> but... Yeah, and just the overall facilities, it's like, it was okay. It wasn't, again, it wasn't, it was just a travel lodge, so you, you can, but yeah, 7 out of 10 is, is good. It's it's not exceptional, it's, but it's good, you know. If there's, one, if there's areas you want to just sort of tweak a little bit, it ups the score, but that's just my assessment on it. Um, nobody else is. Pets allowed, it was very pet friendly, so... And then free parking, obviously. So that's good. So, yeah, and I didn't need to add a, a situation or a part to But definitely, I mean, obviously, obviously the reports do go to the hotel. So I do put little tips on like how to just sort of monitor it and my stance on it. But that doesn't mean they're going to do anything about it. But other than that, if you're in Palm Springs and you're, you're looking for a travel lodge or just a motel in the area um, in California, I would highly recommend this place. Like I say, good money is, you know, definitely worth the money. Um, the only thing, but I guess the the point is, if you're a solo female traveller, just be aware. Just keep your door extra locked and don't be answering the door. If you end up with a noisy, like noisy people around you, and they're banging and they start banging on you, because I did hear them banging on other people's doors. I thought. Don't even pull that shit with my door. I was that. That's why I was a bit like, mm. but just don't open your door. Like, look out the curtain and go, "What do you want?" <laughs> do we need to call the cops? <laughs> if it's really that bad, but um, otherwise, just just double lock. I mean, I double lock everything anyway, so I'm very security focused. But um, yeah, that was yeah. It was actually it was it's a value for the money. Put it that way. And like I say, if you're just sort of like passing through and you just need somewhere to stay, like a motel, I highly recommend. I mean, I don't mind Wyndham's anyway, but Travel Lodge. I mean, if I'm in the area again for any reason, I'd stay there again. Yeah. Um, so I will put the link in. So if you're just in the area and you need somewhere to stay, you can uh, give them a direct call as well. I did, I, I did book it through booking.com. But I did get a I did get a good rate anyway with Booking.com. But you know, but to be honest, Booking.com obviously the they do charge a little bit more because it's commission. They need to make some money. So usually I will measure that with if if they if Booking.com is going to give me a, a decent rate. If I was to do it directly for the hotel, they might get a cheaper rate. But I didn't feel like it was okay. I didn't mind paying what I paid. Put it that way. I think it was like, if I remember correctly, I'd have to look at my receipts, but I think it was like no more than like $86. Like that's with taxes and everything. That's not bad for California. You're just staying in a like, motel. So, some, I mean, the next, I'll be discussing a place where I paid more than that and I was absolutely shocking. <laughs> so, trust me, it's all, oh, you want to balance it at that point. So, that was the travel lodge. 
Maya Windham in Palm Springs in California. Um, I don't think there's anything else to report, so nothing major. Um, yeah, that's it. So, other than that, I'll see you very soon.